Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Warriors have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Level at the 32. Sullivan's got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. complete and he's hit hard behind the line that's a loss of about three they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there from their own 29 yard line it's third down playing college football so to be talked about as one of the best you've got to make plays like that last run to set yourself apart he makes the PAT time for an update from the studio Reese what have you got let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25 and for SMU they can win their ninth game of the year today Snyder is a dangerous trigger man in this passing offense, and he already has a touchdown pass. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. In other games, time to get you up to date from Lubbock. And for Kansas, this loss knocks them out of bowl contention. It's going to be an interesting offseason. The Red Raiders get the W, 30-28. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Jackson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's going to air it long. 
Missed him. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Catches it, and he's punished. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. complete he's got space to work he's tackled at the 41 i like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker it was just a better call by the offense and that's why it's a first down play action he throws it what a pick And down he goes at the 45. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Hawaii is up a score. He makes it to the 42-yard line. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. And the fullback made him pay big time on that little run. No joke. He busted through there for some nice, nice yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 32. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. He's at the 20. Knocked out of bounds around the 13-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 15-yard line. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're going to come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down they're going to go for the easy three here hawaii is hoping to make this a two score game and they tack on three points jackson has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off he just drills this one He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23. Now here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line.
back with a carry. Tackle at the 37. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own one yard line. Second down. Taken down at around the 48. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. 10 0 Hawaii. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. the middle to his tight end. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. down in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Brought down around the 42-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. There's a strike complete. Tackle made the 37-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. It's the 11th play of the drive. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's sent down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. To that quickly. Excellent open field tackle. And this is the 13th play of this drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. That brings him second and goal. Colorado State's going to take their first time out of the half. From the seven yard line, it's second down. They run it late, and he's taken down around the six yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it 30 goal. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. He 
gets rid of this one. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and he got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Terrific top 25 matchups today. This is the game we've been watching closely today. And for SMU, they take to the air and find Pater. SMU in front, 24 10-3 game here. Colorado State is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Hawaii up seven points. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive line. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Third and eight. Ball on the 32-yard line. Throws it and it's tipped away. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. So with that penalty, they'll gains. Man, that is frustrating for a defense when you think you've made a stop and then a flag gives them a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. Hawaii's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And down he goes to the 39-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more a part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. And he throws it away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Hawaii is up by a touchdown. Slings it right. And he snags that one. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Strike to his receiver, no good. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still great effort. Tenth play of the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Hawaii can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Update time from the top 25. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Sooners have the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Snyder, he's showing off that arm, throwing for more than 350 yards. The Mustangs are on top, 27-17. All right, Reese, back to our game. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Nice run, and he's brought down. We've played a half of football here. The Warriors with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you, because <laughs> uh, this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw, and we sit here all week and we break down strengths and weaknesses and they're definitely better and stronger across the board, but they haven't found a way to put things together. And, you know, you get 30 minutes at the half. It's time to give the, you know, rally the troops speech and get everybody going and, and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat. You can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Makes the grab and steps out right away. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Reception, look out, nobody there. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. He stood in there that time against the blitz. They were coming after him, but he showed the poise and was able to connect for a big game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackle at the 
four yard line. It's second and goal. Four yards out. And his tight end touchdown. to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's take a look at what's going on in the top 25. Let's take yet another peek at this game. The Sooners strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Snyder, he is locked in, now with five touchdown passes. Real recognize real, and real recognize this kid. The Mustangs lead it by 10. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Reynolds is lined up to kick this one off. Davis has it at the five. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Hawaii is up by three. Gets out to about the 31. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. The pitch, and he's got some room. He's taken down at the 39. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. Brought down right around midfield. First down. From the 50. First down. Caught with room to work. And they push him out at the 32. That's good for a gain of 18 yards. First down. From the 32-yard line, first down. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. The Warriors defensive back. Out with an injury, he's still in the locker room, and what we're hearing from the sideline right now is he won't play any more football today. Hawaii is up a field goal. And they make the stop at the 37. That was just mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at what's happening in the top 25. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, they reach the end zone with an aerial strike. And for Snyder, he's slicing up the secondary. Five touchdown passes. Best way to describe this kid, straight warrior. The Mustangs on top by three. 
and we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Jackson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. And already, whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, they might be able to force him into a mistake. That's three down and one to go. Hawaii's lead is six. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. And he's taken down right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 49. That brings up second and one. Wagner on a pitch out. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. First and 10. 48. Thought it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That'll be a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have it to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From midfield, second down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. That's good for a gain of two yards. That's third and ten. Shoved out of bounds at the 31. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds at the 16-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle after a decent run up the gut.
Here's the 11th play of the drive. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. That brings him second to goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. This is the 13th play of this drive. So the offense stays on the field to attempt this fourth down from the six-yard line. And he's tackled at the one. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that really dictate the tone for the last quarter. some room room around the corner at the 30 down the sideline touchdown Warriors well, with that score now it's up to the defense and they're well aware that maybe one stop and they've got a victory going to try for the two-point conversion. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And they won't get the two. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Mustangs came into the game ranked 16th and hoping to make a huge jump in the rankings. Now the question far will they fall and for Oklahoma they've won two straight the Sooners slide out with a four-point win and for the Warriors they should move up now in the top 25 if they win Hawaii the kick this one off nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost big. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Nearly intercepted. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Colorado State's going to take their first time out of the half. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And the goal line defense digging in here. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. And there's a missed opportunity by the offense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. He tops 100 yards on the ground with that last run. There are so many different ways he can hurt you. Today, he's done it with his feet. I think he's easily one of the most complete players in the country. He's at the 20. 
Inside the 10. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. Colorado State will use their final timeout. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. 